Yeah, we, I didn't make it past the seven year itch, mate. Like, we, we've been together for like seven years, so we had two kids, took her to Paris, popped a question. Cliche, I don't know. And like two months later, I found out that she was cheating on me. <laughs> don't feel, honestly, don't feel sorry for me, because like, I'm happier now. Like, like, I'm not happy now if I bumped into the guy that she cheated on me with. I wouldn't know whether to shake his hand or suck him off myself, to be fair. Like. <laughs> But the worst, right, the worst bit, though, about, like, finding out two months after, like, like, so literally two months after, you can't get a refund on that ring now. You're outside your 30-day money-back guarantee. It was devastating. That was the worst bit. Yeah, you cheated on me. What, I can't? I was fucked. That's a porn, the bastard. Oh, it is. It's hard. I think the hardest thing I found as well is, like, trying to date. Like, how did you use two meat? Going back now. <laughs> how did... How long? Too long ago? Met in a pub, like the old fashioned way, yeah? You can't do that anymore, can you? You can't meet anybody in a pub anymore. You go up to a bar and try and like fucking dance with someone, now they pull that face like they just stepped on a slug in the bare feet. <laughs> you know what I mean? You go up to someone and dance and they're just like. <laughs> Signaling to a friend for help. <laughs> friend comes over to save the day, like, come on, love, let's just get out of here. <laughs> fucking perverts, the lot of them. Do it. I hate going on nights out anyway. I hate, I hate going on nights out because I'm getting that age now when you go on a night out, you just feel old. Like, you, you do, don't you? You walk into any bar and I'm like, fucking full of kids in here. <laughs> What's she wearing? Jesus, she must be cold. It's fucking changing, man. It's just changing. I hate, I hate nights out. I hate, day drinking's a thing now as well, isn't it? Day drinking down here, you three, yeah? If someone's clapping at the back, it's a Sunday, but fuck it. <laughs> Daydream. Let's go out in the daytime because there's no dickheads in the day. The fucking is, aren't they? You ever got that last train home? The drunk train. All the dickheads are lined up there on platform three. Ah, oh, there's a fucking crazy journey that you get on that train. There's always one dickhead doing football chants, isn't he? Though, like, it's coming home. It's coming home. And you just sit there to yourself, getting annoyed, like he won't fucking get home in a minute. Him. But you won't say it though, will you? <laughs> Like on the train when I, I I got it back from Lime Street, right? And and when I was going back on the train, there was a, it was a Liverpool fan, so you know, six times and all that. We're all we're all afraid. <laughs> yeah. And he's doing all the chants, he's like, you know, he's Virgil Van Dyke, he's Vir oh when the red and this bloke just stood up out of nowhere and he, and he just went, Hey mate, I'm a city fan. Ooh. I know, right? Without even missing a beat, the scouts was there like, Sorry mate, I don't do requests. But it always kicks off as well, it always kicks off. You've always got some drunk girl who just doesn't give a shit, mouthing off to everybody. She, she's like this big and she's kicking off to someone who's like, looks like something out of WWE, doesn't she? Like, you know when you look at a girl, you know if you look at her the wrong way, she'll choke slam you. She just starts mouthing off to her. And it all kicked off, right? So there's like a crowd of people, these people fighting. And the, and the train stops at my stop and I'm pinned up against a chair. And I, <laughs> no, honestly, and I fucking shit one. I was like, ah! this is my stop! Wait, I need to get out! That drunken dickhead's like, ah, it's coming home! Fuck off, now, bed! Change me that journey, I've got PTSD. Thomas the Tank Engine came on the other day, shit one, ah! It's my stop! <laughs>